Thank you, Mr Speaker. I want to ask the Secretary of State some questions on his role in intergovernmental relations and drug policy, of which he has said a number of interesting things. So the Secretary of State is on record saying he thinks public health measures, which are backed by strong scientific evidence, which follow the lead of the doctors, the clinicians, we should look seriously at them. <coughs> drug consumption rooms and decriminalisation of possession of small quantities of drugs have been proven to work throughout the world and have now been proposed by the Scottish Government. So does the Secretary of State accept that the outright rejection we saw from the UK Government at the weekend out of hand <coughs> undermines the Scottish Government, undermines those campaigners and those who help drug users and undermines the union? Thursday. No, I don't accept that, but I think he does raise a very, very serious question, and I've had the opportunity to discuss with the member for Glasgow Central some of the challenges that she faces in her constituency. We both know that drugs deaths in Scotland are running at an unacceptably high level, and there is no single answer to dealing with that problem. But I do believe, as was outlined very clearly by politicians from both the Government and indeed the principal opposition party, that the Scottish Government's proposals are the wrong proposals at the wrong time. Chris Stevens. I Secretary of State for that answer, but the heads of all 31 UN agencies have called for possession decriminalisation, and more than 30 countries have made changes which have cut deaths and incarceration. So there is no reasonable, uh, rational, and evidence cause for the UK government to make, or indeed the Labour Party, for rejecting the proposals out, uh, out of hand. So can I ask him seriously? Uh, and his role as intergovernmental relations to work with the Scottish Government to, ha to be the grown up in his side of the room and engage with the Scottish Government and those drug campaigners. Yeah. Well, I'm, al I'm always happy because, I, uh, as the Honourable Gentleman points out, this is a uh, uh, both complex and also challenging and heartbreaking issue. And I do believe that it is right that the governments work together with the NHS, with law enforcement, and with others in order to deal with this challenge. But I believe that the uh, specific proposals for decriminalisation of possession that are being put forward are not the best way forward.